these two initial items out of the way, it's time for the big announcement. So the big announcement is that on September 20th, 2022, I decided to become Catholic. <laughs> yes! Amen! 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 Blessed be to God! Yes! For the greater glory to God, ad mayorum dei gloria. Hey yo, what's up guys? So I'm coming to you another video. We're doing a video for Cameron Bertuzzi of Capturing Christianity, Becoming Catholic. He made an announcement, everyone's talking about it. So yeah, finally, cue the music. But first, of course, if you're new to my channel, what is up? My name is Mitch, Maverick Mitch. Hey, Mitch, Mitch, all the Mitches, the call sign dog, and pretty much I like talking about what I like talking about. So, current events, reviews, pop culture, social media commentary, be sure to check out all those videos as you're finishing this video. And of course, please like, share, and subscribe as it feeds the algorithm. With all that said, let's get into it. Okay, so actually before we get started, you know what, I gotta give you like some disclaimers. One of them being, okay, so this isn't a, this channel isn't a Catholic apologetics channel, but I am no, I do not shy away from my Catholic faith on my, my reviews or just in discussion and in, in social political commentary. And so, but I think this kind of like brings into what I kind of want to talk into this video as far as being red-pilled, right? Not to say that being red-pilled is becoming Catholic or Christian in general, but there's a level of like truth finding that is in that process and and the level of criticism as well as congratulations once you reach past that point right and I kind of want to touch upon a little of that in this video secondly this is the second time I'm doing this video I actually did a video to Cameron's um, a reaction video to Cameron's announcement but a lot has happened since then a lot of again a lot of people doing a lot of congratulations a lot of people doing a lot of criticism of his decision to coming into the catholic faith and then also you know he was at the vatican how great was that actually i was the the day that would that was live streaming i woke up to my phone and and they were already going into prayer it was a blessed morning it was such a great news and all that good stuff right and Really, I kind of just want to touch base upon um, like some things I touched on in my original video and then going into what I kind of want to talk in this video. Um, more so kind of going into like the aspect of what the, the tipping point that Cameron was going through as far as learning about the papacy or figuring out what argument um, does the papacy have for him as far as the turning point and all, all that stuff. So I'm going to probably, I, I don't know how I'm going to edit this, so I'm going to probably jump between um, you know, original cut and then my new cut and all that stuff. And so let's take a look. Um, so again, I don't know how I'm editing this, editing this, so we'll do that in post production. But I'll go into him having his interview, um, Cameron um, Bertuzzi having an interview with Matt Fred at the Vatican. So let's check out that real quick. Real pause, real quick. Again, I need to point out his lighting and the hair. I love, I love that. Um, I, and I, and I messaged him before how to do his lightning. He talks about like a keynote light and all this stuff because he, like, his whole thing, like his background is actually in photography. So all of this setup is easy for him. So I definitely want to mimic this in the time in the future. I really like how the spotlight is on him and obviously kudos to his hair. I need to go get like, um, hymns or something or whatever keeps <laughs> um, and so I can have those nice locks in his hair um, and of course when it comes to capturing Christianity like um, I followed him even if, if it arose around the 2019 20, 2020 era type of thing um, like he said he, he, he had done a lot of debates with like Matt Fred and everything and he had like good friends with Matt Fred um, and again it was just good content I like how his approach to things um, it was kind of funny going into this situation he was doing like I'll I'll convert to the Catholic Church on a um, mathematical scale. Um, giving he he gives like arguments like he rates them um, like you know one to ten, and so like if it's if by the end of his journey if it's by a certain number score then he'll go into it. So it's an interesting way of do, approaching it, and so. Um, but overall, I, I appreciate his um, his direction in this, um, meaning uh, not just his journey, but like his approach to it. So let's see what else he got to say. Uh, came at the tail end of a deep study into the evidence for and against the papacy. As a Protestant, I went into the study with an open mind. I, ultimately, I told myself that I would follow the evidence wherever it leads, even if that conclusion is uncomfortable for me or for my family. My Protestant friends were very confident that it would result in a deep confirmation of my 
existing Protestant beliefs, but they were wrong. What I found was that the evidence strongly suggests that the papacy is true. Now, and just while you're doing that, just so for those who aren't aware, when we talk about typology, we're referring to persons, places, and events in the Old Testament um, that foreshadow a greater reality in the New. So St. Augustine says the New Testament is concealed in the Old, the Old is revealed in the New, and this is not some medieval invention. St. Paul talks about Christ as the new Adam, um, and there are many other examples. Yeah. Yeah, one of a, a Catholic philosopher I had on the channel recently said that Christianity is a typological religion, and this is one of the things that's really gave me, given me like a, a a better appreciation for the Bible, is the fact that the New Testament ties in mm. to the Old Testament. It's the fulfillment of the mm. Old Testament. It's not as if, I mean, as a Protestant, my my view was kind of like, oh, we could kind of like get rid of the Old Testament, like. Let's forget about it. Let's try to forget about it. Because you have these problematic Old Testament passages about the Canaanites and the bears attacking children. It's like, let's, can we just forget about the Old right. Testament? Can we just yeah. like forget about that and just focus on the New Testament because it's this all about is, love? Uh, and... The Marcion heresy, isn't it? It's not a new... Well, it's something that I was just sort of like drawn to, yeah. like, uh, you know, uh, unconsciously. Yep, yep, yep. I was like, I wish that I could just do away with the Old Testament. Yes. Because then it would just like... Solve, solve a lot of issues, especially issues. in your debates with atheists. It's like, yeah. gosh, we could just put yeah. that to one side. And yeah. I feel like it wouldn't be as embarrassing. Yeah. But I love that, yeah. It's but then technology saw, helped me see the importance of the Old Testament. And I okay, so um, I'll link all of this below. You can check out the full interview. And something that he was talking about, like the topology of the Bible, right? And I think that is uh, something really cool, right? And in getting into this, he was talking about the office of uh, the Pope, the office of Peter, and going back into the Old Testament with Eliakim. And, and this is something kind of like even new for me. And so I'm going to point it back to someone who kind of like introduced this to him. And so this is coming from intellectual Catholicism. Right. September, you know, I'm on my computer during our computer hours, and as I'm scrolling through my email, Cameron sends me this message, and, you know, the message, it says Catholic on the subject line, and I'm like, okay, weird subject line, I click on the email, and Cameron tells me that my new Eliakim argument finally convinced him to become Catholic. And I was so shocked, you know, I had one of my Dominican brothers, novice brothers, sitting to my right, and I looked over and I told him, yo, Cameron's becoming Catholic, and, you know, he knew about the online scene, and so we were all celebrating and super excited. I emailed Cameron back, and I said, hey, Cameron, this is great, you know, and I, I'm so happy, I'm almost speechless. But in the back of my mind, I was kind of like, okay. So obviously this is really great and, and, and obviously like he needed to address this because a lot of people were starting to talk about this online um, because Cameron, ha it, he's over 100k subscribers, right? He has a big YouTube channel and, and this, is, this is something that is kind of important. Um, the way that Catholics are going to view this, the way that I view this is like we just have another one of our brothers, it's like the prodigal son coming back home. Thank you. Awesome. Great. Versus, I have seen other criticism about um, some Protestant criticism about Christian uh, Cameron going into Catholicism and saying, "Oh, great! This is a win for the Catholic Church." As if we, as if this is all about making teams. You know, as if, as if this is all about like who's doing the drafts in in like a sports lineup. You know. Um, when it comes down to it, it's all about truth, right? And so, I I will celebrate people who will come to Christ, right? That's the, that's the that's the greatest thing ever, right? I think both sides can agree to that, um, like Protestants in this case, Protestants and and Catholics, right? Protestants, Christians, and Catholic Christians, because that's another thing, right? So some Protestants don't even view Catholics as Christians, but like as Catholics, we believe that we the OG Christians, <laughs> and so um. So the point being here is that I think this is this this level of lens on Cameron is just so great because a lot of people are talking about it and obviously it just gives more better discussion if if you are if you I agree to certain people even on the Protestant Christians they're saying just because he did this it doesn't necessarily mean um, you should just follow suit blindly and I agree with that I, I I agree that you need to if you are looking into Catholicism do it for the right reasons and this is kind of why I pause this video um, he, he's gonna go into that very that very point right now this is good but I want to make sure that underneath, right, this conversion uh, of the intellect, at least, 
that there's also the heart, that yeah. there's also a relationship with Jesus that is being further solidified yeah. into the wholeness Amen. of what he created us for. And the thing is, look, you know, I mean, if you're convinced intellectually, or, you know, that, that's good, right? But, you know, with the things that you're going to endure as a convert, you need to have a solid relationship with Jesus and know that the Catholic Church is what he fully intended and that by entering it, you are showing that fuller gesture of love, right? By sacrificing so much of your own life into accepting the church that he built so that we all might be one, so that we all might be united on the doctrines and dogmas of the faith. I'll pause it there. Um, again, that was some great stuff. Like I said, there there is a level in which um, there's a level in which you, we need to have that level of like as much as we're all excited for Kevin, right? And also, I'll I'll throw this out there as well, like. Um, because Cameron has made such a dis distinction now, um, his channel is, there's, as much as people are congratulating him, there's also people criticizing him, right? And so he also made that video in which he is, like, he's operating his channel on a deficit. Um, so I definitely recommend anyone who's watching this to go ahead, subscribe to his channel, support however you can, like, share, subscribe. If you can donate on his personal webpage, um, if you can do a super chat, if you can um, support him in any financial way as possible, Possible, please do so because um, this this is, is this is truly very important and so let's go to so I'm gonna go to Keith Messer who is also a former Protestant now Catholic and his unsolicited advice to Cameron and everything and I, I really like this point and I think I'll, I'll wrap it up there hold on about devotions I heard that on Pints of the Aquinas when you guys were sitting on the roof looking over um, the Vatican I was a little jealous about that by the way <laughs> I think I think we all were okay like how about like you let's just go to the Vatican as if it's like let's go to Vegas you know uh, it's like uh, like turn and burn you know and you, you know you were like I don't even know what you mean by devotions and you know he's explaining it to you I'm sure you know what it means now but I would say this and this echoes the advice that you were given this morning and I, I I've lived through this just pick one or two things and do them well go through that and don't feel like you've got to jump into everything all at once man I can remember when I became Catholic I wanted to do all the Catholic things that I could find which was great. But what was hard was when I also wanted to do all the Catholic things that other people had found. So everyone would, you know, send me different things and say, Oh, Keith, do you know about this novena? Do you know about this consecration? Do you know about that scapular and that apparition, all this stuff? And it became quickly very overwhelming. Now, for me, I, I grabbed onto two different things pretty quickly. The first one was praying the rosary, and the second one was going to Eucharistic adoration. Yes. Those were, and still have been, transformative to me and helpful to me in my new journey into the faith. Um, you know, I've, I've continued in those practices, and I've also discovered some other things, too. But... All right, so kind of just wrapping it up here because I have to kind of edit this all together. I'm kind of still figuring it out. You know, I kind of just want to wrap it up in a sense where where this kind of brings it to the, like the, the the beginning discussion about about like being red pilled. And of course, again, I don't don't want to conflate being red pilled with necessarily becoming Christian Catholic, right? Um, it, it is this process in which the 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 veil is lifting from your eyes, right? And so you can use that that analogy in many different ways. But in this case, I just want to throw in again. And back to people who are if you are Protestant if you are atheist whatever agnostic whatever and you're becoming Catholic and and obviously as Catholics we need to welcome you right um, and it's not about I told you so right and it's and it is all it's all about like welcoming right likewise for people becoming red pill again not to be in a Christian sense right but people who are becoming red pill just as much as Tulsi Gabbard made the distinction like hey I'm leaving the Democratic Party we sh we need to welcome them you know this is this isn't about I told you so right this isn't about like you know what you counseled me whatever and so I'm not gonna forgive you like I like we can recognize that like hey you know what you can't you, you tried to do all these things against me um, and now you're on my side now you know how it feels to be counseled like we can we can we can address it right but we at the end of the day we need to build this coalition in which like okay you're on my side again let's let's build up God or if not like at least Judeo-Christian values family you know tradition 
and, and, and the country, right? And I think when it comes to, especially when the left, it is the left that's really divisive, right? It is the left who wants to counsel. It's the left who wants to take away um, the freedom of speech. If you, if you just say something that you disagree with, it is violence, right? And so um, I'm just going to wrap it up there. And, and and just get, and just drive the point um, that you know we need for those who are looking to become those who are in the process of becoming red pilled um, just just open like hey welcome to our side and likewise just as much as someone who is just newly formed Catholic um, and it's really endearing like um, just because you made the point like Cameron was doing a rosary he was messing it up and 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 that that, that is fine you know I think that. There, there, the train, like the process of it is the journey. You're not gonna get it right, you know, the first time around. And so, it, it, it like just as much as Catholic and people who are devoted, right? Like, I, I, I'll, I'll become Catholic until I get it right, type thing, right? Anyway, um, ranting off, I think this making another point to Keith Nesser, um, just as much as Catholics, newly Catholics, should um, have some set devotions you know that you focus on likewise if you if someone who's being red pilled if if abortion if you finally realize abortion is like a morally wrong focus on that become more pro-life become more active in your arguments in that you know or whether it's becoming two-way or be freedom of speech you know find these sections in which you you are passionate about and that you can defend versus where you came from right and so i know like even a tulsi gabbard right and so she was talking about strong borders she was talking about all of this indoctrination about being anti-american in the schools you know the crt the gender ideology and so those are the things that she can apply to the quote-unquote red pill side right she may not believe in the abortion stuff right that, or at least how we view it right and so I, I i'm ranting all over the place i think you get what i'm going at um i th and so if you got to this part of the video, I'm probably going to end the video with a prayer um, that I did in my original video. So we'll go there. Um, again, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace, peace, peace. Be with you. Ekam Espiritu Duo. This channel, look it up because he is looking for financial support in this transition and everything that's going on. So at least if you go ahead and check him out. Add to add, subscribe to him, follow him. If you can donate, please do so and everything. And so I'll just end it off with a prayer. Um, and so, let's go. In nomine Padre, se fili, Spirito Santi. Heavenly Father, eternal God, I pray for Cameron and his family and his journey into this. I pray that his platform be your platform. I pray that his will be your will. I pray that the Holy Spirit manifests in him and continue to grow so that others may be captured in this process of the Holy Spirit so that it just brings a greater glory to God. And I pray this all in Jesus' name. Pater Noster, cui is in Celle, Santa Fecetta Noam Tuam, Avenit Regem Tuam, Fiat Voluntas Tua, Sicot and Cello et Entera, Panam Nosum, Cotidiano and Nobis Ode, et the Mita Nobis, the Mita Nostra, Sicot and Nos, the Mitimos, the Vitoribus Nostris, et the Nos and Ducas et Tessas Yomen, Sent Labera Nosa Malo, Ave Maria, Gratia Plenia, Dominos Tecum, Benedicta Tuam Morieribus, et Benedictus Frutus Ventris, Tue Jesus, Santa Maria, Mata Dei, Ora Penobis Pecatoribus, Nucan Ora Mortis Nostra Amen. In Gloria Patri e Filio Spirito Santi, Sicat Error in Pichopeo, in Nuc in Semper Seculorum Seculorum. Amen. Non nobis Domine, non nobis Domine, sed nomine, sed nomine, tuo da Gloriam, in nomine Patri e Filio Spirito Santi. And real quick, if I can bring this back into the greater scheme of what's going on in the world. Um, obviously, I am for God, family, country, and I think this is speaks to that as much as obviously for God, obviously for family, and, 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 and as a country, we need to bring those two aspects together to make a, a healthy country. And so, I'll wrap it up there. And so, thank you for watching. You can follow me on my Instagram at HeyMitchMitch. You can follow me at my Twitter, Maverick Mitch. And see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace, peace, peace. Be with you. Ekamaspirito tuo.